Dan Smith's face is plastered across New York. If you were born here, he's watched you grow up. He stares at you from the window at your favorite grocery store, watches you as you grab your dry cleaning, and winks at you as you wait for your shoes to be cobbled. But who is the man behind the flyer? And where is he today? I set out to find this elusive guitar teacher, and what I found may shock you. For ABC Localish, Ellie Sokoloff investigates. I grew up right around here on the Upper West Side, so you could say that Dan Smith practically raised me. You can imagine my shock to learn that the legend himself was living right in my backyard. Hi, Dan. Ellie. Thank you so much for coming. So, Dan, thank you so much for having me again. I just want to learn a little bit more about you, so um, tell me about yourself. Where are you from? I'm originally from Newton, Massachusetts, which is just outside of Boston, but I moved here to New York City um, in 1988 to go to NYU. About how long did it take you to start up this, your teaching business? Probably about three or four years. So you came here, you're starting up a business, how are you getting the word out when you were first beginning? Um, well, I uh, put up flyers. I did it for many years without putting um, my picture on it. And when I started to put my picture on there, which was probably around 2002, that's when things really started to shift. That resulted in people writing about the flyer campaign and it, it really took on much more of a cult following at that point. Because there were a bunch of parodies from just random people doing them here in the city. And then it kind of shifted. Certain people who had a fair amount of fame themselves started doing parodies of them. John Mayer did one, which would just said, John Mayer will teach you guitar. I'm assuming that was to promote an album. Continuum, I think it was. That sounds right. And then I think Mike Myers did one to promote a movie. It, it appeared or has appeared in a lot of television shows. The one that I liked the most was on BoJack Horseman. And you know, at a certain point, it, it becomes, um, to me, I think a distraction from what I'm actually trying to promote. And it's a nice problem to have, I'm not complaining, but sometimes I, I'm known more for the promotion rather than who I am and what I'm trying to promote, which is my teaching and my music and who I am as an artist. What is it about your flyers that you think people have such an attachment to even after all these years? They were around for so long and in such pervasive terms. Certainly one thing I've heard is that people identify it with New York City. I've been told that when people from New York meet each other outside of New York City, they will talk about that as a way to almost like test each other to see if you're a real New Yorker or not. So I've always kind of gotten a kick out of that. I always thought that was great. And I'm you know, very proud to be identified with that because New York City was some place that I knew I was gonna live from when I was a, a little kid. So I think we've built up enough anticipation. Um, okay, let's see. Dan Smith, Yes. will you teach me guitar? Well, I'll show you a couple things. How do I get the first Well, chord? you need to take the pick out of the strings. That'll do it. Yeah. Guess when I take it out and I'm like. Uh -huh. <laughs> I've practiced the, um, like my persona, but unfortunately I don't have any of the skills to kind of build on that. What I try to do is just give people a sense of what it's like to strum a guitar to a beat. And just very simple stuff. And with these three chords, for example, there's literally hundreds of songs that you can play. <laughs> Because my goal is for everybody to get a groove happening for themselves. Because that way, you know, you um, you feel the enjoyment of music, mm -hmm. and you, that makes you thirsty for more. And boy, was my thirst quenched! Finally, meeting the man behind the flower was this New Yorker's dream come true. Play us out, Danny. Cause everybody's different. You walk a different path than me, but I'm gonna try to listen. Even when I disagree, cause everybody's different, but we're all the same.